ओम विश्वेचक्षमेतो नारायणा विमे वासुदेवाय धीम तो विष्णु प्रचोदया तो महादेव इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रुद्र ही इज द वन दैट रिमूव द नेगेटिविटी फ्रॉम द माइंड एंड द बॉडी एज गॉड क्रिएट अस टू प्रोवाइड फॉर अस एंड द एंड इट इज डिस्ट्रॉयड सो नथिंग इन लाइफ इज परमानेंट सो व्हेन यू हैव टेकन दिस स्टेप टू लाइफ यू हैव टू ट्रीट प्लेजर एंड पेन द सेम गुड एंड बैड द सेम विक्ट्री एंड डिफीट द सेम बिकॉज़ एवरीथिंग इज टेंपरेरी नथिंग वुड रिमेन इन परमानेंट सो एज इवन डिस्ट्रॉयर we ask him to destroy negative force negative influence negative energy om namah shambhavaya cha maya bhavaya cha namah sankaraya cha maya skaraya cha namah shivaya cha shivataraya cha Om. Look at the direction of the sun. Organic energy, fresh heat, and fresh energy so that we can have spiritual sustenance. We pray and ask for His guidance and blessing to continue to nourish you spiritually and to help you to wake early and do your prayers for Him who is the ruler and the controller of the universe. Without Him, we might be in dark. It is said in the scripture, "One who wake before sunrise, they're equal to the energy of God." So by waking early before sunrise, it radiates the spirituality of the mind. By looking at the sun in the morning and chanting by three hundred three times, that by itself is medicine for the soul. So now use your imagination, so it is there, and you chant in your mind, "Kai three hundred three times." Om. आधिदेव नमस्तुभ्यं प्रषेधा मम भास्कर दिवाक नमस्तुभ्यं प्रभाकमस्तु तत्चुर्दैव पुषा चक्षमूर्ति पश्ये माम शरद शट जिह्ये मं शरद शट शुन्युयामा I may speak for a hundred years and more, and may I hear for a hundred years and more. May I prosper for a hundred years and more, and may I achieve happiness for a hundred years and more. Om Aditya Ya Vidmahi Sahasra Kirna Yadi Mahi Tanno Surya Prajodhaya Tu Ba Prem Sabo Surya Bhagavan Ki Jai. Now you seek thy protection from a nine direction, for God is the embodiment of energy here, there, and everywhere. For everything is God. Seek thy blessing. Look at the east direction. Om Prajapati Tum Parihi Nam. Bow to the sun. Om Devat Tum Savite Paridam. ओम 
ओम आदिस्त्यम तुम उदे ही धामी पड़ी धामी ओम देवय्य परितम भ्याम तुम परी धामी ओम दिव्यप्याम देव्यम परी धामी to all the deities of the universe i give thee in charge above om sarve bhyastvam bhute bhya paridami for the seek of freedom from harm from all i give thee in charge om shanti 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 hari hi om instruction it's important At every step in life there are some rules and regulation to obey and to maintain for the laws of dharma or the bylaws of dharma is the scripture and when we follow the scripture that will remain for generation to generation and because the scripture are the food for the body and the mind it help to channel our life and to guide us through the spiritual path and that was given by the rishis and the munis and the gurus of the ancient time today that you are taking up this great step in life to move forward from a traditional way to a religious way this by itself will burn away seven generation cars so even that you was born in a family which didn't have the much opportunity to upgrade and to elevate themselves spiritually by you taking up this path will remove them from that past karmas and now you're creating a foundation for many many more generation to come so that when you leave this world your legacy will live on and the only thing will remain here in this planet is our legacy a legacy that will leave an impact on the life of everyone and that is how important when we work for dharma god will work for us when we work for god god will multiply for us that's the power of god god is the ultimate source that resides in everything in this universe and it's a great blessing that when we as the children of the creator can work back for the creator give back to the creator and by our self sacrifice and selfless service that will create an impact in the hearts of everyone and now you become an inspiration to the world this is how great it is to be spiritual om adyam sampadhya age doesn't have anything to do with studies age is just a number what is important is our knowledge is how much knowledge we have from the scripture and we are never too old to learn about the scripture we are all students because the universe is a university and we are all children of god so age is just a number but what's important is the right knowledge so now you will continue with your studies spiritual studies and religious studies om guru shurakye kartavya you must serve the spiritual master which is the guru have three parents all the teachers that who we teach you now they do dancing cooking all the sports and a spiritual master who will lead and teach you to god madumana shashamana you must not eat red meat no red you make it as a shame and you must not consume anything that will corrupt the mind <laughs> no not food no 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 i need that just it could be or reduce something corrupt your mind <laughs> it could be that you should go to diabetic different thing ari twam nam vakyam you must not speak any falsehood you must not lie
Anityam Do not take anything if it is not given to you. Do not steal. Tam Hulam Bhakyam Kuratye. Do not smoke. Do not do drugs. The only smoke you're allowed to inhale is the alcohol smoke. Vedyo Prajani Yat Yevam Bhuva. Put all your efforts into education. Education is very important. And education can come in different form. Sometimes you can have great education with no intellect, no intelligence. So an intelligent person is a person not only with a degree, but a person with great morals, great values, great discipline. As long as you have that, that will transform your life to every level. Where discipline and where your morals and integrity can take you, money cannot take you. Someday we can have all the material wealth, but yet we are not happy. Yet we don't have peace. And that comes from lack of intelligence. The only person can awaken the intellect now is God. And now that you have listened to your simple rules and regulation, now you will pray to the Lord of Intelligent, the mother of knowledge. There is no other greater source than the power of God, Ganesh. Before we commence any ritual, first we invite him. Now we'll do the holy bath for him because now you have connection to the highest form of God, which is bhakti. And through your bhakti, will transform that murti into a living energy. Your love is your love will beautify it now. So everything you do, you have to do it with love. And the love is what will become the prasad to him. And then when everyone will partake with that, they will enjoy your blessings. Saraswati is also the mother who is the gurus of all the gurus. She is the mother of art, science, technology, music. You say you want to sing more. That one is a, that is one of the greatest gifts that we have. When we have talent from our culture, it helps to promote dharma more. Because music by itself is charm for the soul. And whenever you go anywhere, don't wait for anyone to ask you to sing. Do it willingly. Because why? That is the only prasad you can beautify the world with. So now we perform the Abhishek to Mahagrampati and ask for his blessing. Siddhi Vinayaka Deva Yanamaha Saraswati, Paje Virvajani Vati, Dinama Vidhavatu, Ganesha Yanamaha, Saraswati Namaha, Sri Guru Pyo Namaha, Hari Hi Om, Ekadhantaya Vidmahe Vakratunda Yadi Mahi, Tanotanti Rajodhaya Atir. Om Shri Mreem Kleem Lam Gangana Pataye Varavarada Sarvajaram Meva Shamanaya Swaha Om Shri Mreem Kleem Lam Gangana Pataye Varavarada Sarvajaram Meva Shamanaya Swaha Om Shri Mreem Kleem Lam Gangana Pataye Varavarada Sarvajaram Meva Shamanaya Swaha Ekadantaya Vitmahe Vakratunda Yadimahi 
नोदी प्रचोदयादंताय विमे वक्रतुंदय धीमह तोदी प्रचोदयादेशणपति भगवान की सर्वयोगा 
Swami, who is the embodiment of dharma, which is righteousness, the embodiment of shanti, which is peace, and the embodiment of prema, which is love. Wherever there is love, God will forever be there. And he is also the Lord that removes the ahimsa from our life and teaches us not to be involved in violence, to always believe in non-violence. Someone hurt you, smile. Because in life, today we praise, tomorrow we blame. Treat both the same. So you pray to Swami, who is the embodiment of love, and you ask him for him to become the universal guru in your life. Because we would have come from the Caribbean, or Gotra, more many Gotra would have been mixed up. There is no form you can find back our lineage. But one thing for sure we know, Love by itself is the embodiment of God. And that's what he teach. He break the, that wall of hate and religion and he would have built a bridge to serve humanity. And when you serve humanity, that is equal service to God. And we as the children of God, we should never discriminate or divide our people, unite them and bring them together regardless of how technical some of us might be. When someone is annoying, Swami say, anoint them with love. Anoint them with food. Anoint them with your patience. That is what Swami teaches the world. So today you pray that now you're going to become a devotee of the Sai Guru Kru, and you're asking Swami is to become your spiritual master, to inspire you, for you to become an inspiration to the society, and to bless you with those divine qualities. Om Sai 
Vishwarāya Vidmahi Satya Devāya Dīmahi Tanno Sarva Prachodayāt Sai Māta Pītā Dīna Bandhu Sadhā
शंभो महादेवा शिव शंभो
I do this with joy. And I want to thank Bhagawan and Mother to guide me in this path. Um, I had this thought a long time, but everything happened in its own time. And this is my time. Remember celebrate when my birthday year after year after year. I always celebrate it in a manner of prayers. Everyone know my prayers is always my priority. And then I will take it to the next level. And I did enjoy my life. In the material world, or, and now I am ready for the spiritual world. And I thank Mother to give me that courage and everything that I asked her for. Not one day, she never failed me. Everything just take baby step. Once you have that faith in Ma, you will get anything in life that you deserve, but it takes time, just time. Just have faith and you will gain whatever your wishes are. And I remember many times I will fast for many, many days. I did my yajna, I fast for 40 days. And when time to break my fast, I never wanted to do it. But again, I was in a different world where I wasn't a leader, I was a follower. But I think now I am ready for a leader. And thank, and thank you, Guruji, that I was come into this temple by now. And here is where I belong because I am a devotee of Ma. Who know me, know me. I am serving Mother all my life. And I will continue to serve her until my eternity. My last breath will be Ma. Thank you guys, and Namaste, and Pranam to everyone. Uncle Balki and Auntie Liz, thank you guys for always be at my side, Uncle Balki, to always, I can have a shoulder to lean on. And when I said a shoulder, I know. Just a message I sent you guys yesterday, and you guys are here to support me in my big step. Thank you, and I love both of you. And I love each and every one of you. Love you guys, my sisters, my heart. You guys are special, because today is a very special day. And ask Guruji, I had asked him to do this private. I had want to do this little ceremony private. But when I prayed, I didn't get my answer to do it private. I get my answer to do it with whoever is here. And I thank you guys. Right? Thank you. I love you so much. Sit down, everyone. Thank you, Donaji, for those kind words. It's a great inspiration for all of us. Age is a number. The most important is when we are ready to move forward. And you have stepped forward with the whole entire team. God didn't want you to do it private because when you will explain and say to them, they wouldn't understand. And this might be an inspiration, especially for one main person. <laughs> and that's the joy of you. And I'm happy to see she take the mic. Yes, so, she and did. only today we told her when we She has a sweet her, voice. So she's going to move forward. And she made a promise to the Shivlingam that today she's oh, becoming vegetarian. Yeah. So, y'all clap yeah. for her, please. I'm yeah. yeah. So, this is how God plans everything. When we allow God to make decision for us, everything come out of distinction. But when we make decisions for ourselves, we become failures, we have problems, we have so many things will come our way. When you trust God, when God becomes your security in the form of faith, everything in your life will come true. So this is what makes me happy that you always see her with her little team. We call it Golden Girls. But we name them now the Bhakti Girls. <laughs> and to always see them together, it's a joy that they're here to pray with her together because the scripture teaches that ones that pray together will stay together. And because all of you are here to support her in this journey is what we have to do in life. When someone take a next step to go forward, as Hindus, we must lift them higher. We must support them, give them words of comfort, give them motivation. Our religion from the Caribbean, especially in Hindu culture, 
We have a big gap there in between that when someone becomes religious and spiritual, we try to bring them down. We try to laugh at them. We try to say, oh, why you turn so holy? Oh, you wasn't a saint before, and now you pretended to be a saint. We have to remove that from our mind, remove that from our society. In Christianity and Islam, when someone takes initiation or someone is born again, everyone will embrace them and rise a spirit up in them and compliment them and give them words of comfort. That is what we need in our culture. When someone take a step to go forward, this is this is why God make this happen for her. Because God wants to bring a changes in our society. He wanted us as Hindus, us as human, us from the Caribbean to be respectful when it comes to the worshiping of God. So you have laid the foundation for Greece. I have a one um, I have two my two sisters. <laughs> This one here, she said to me, Sister Tam, Sister Sabita. We are calling Didi. She's oh, the oldest one? No, no, no. Oh. Sister Ruby is the oh. oldest one. Oh, Mataji. Yes. <laughs> sister Ruby is the oldest one. And then, no. Sister Sabita, Sister Monica. Didi. We prefer to call her. Didi, I have to catch Didi Ruby. Mm -hmm. yeah. We call her Mataji. Mm -hmm. So you see, when you have old friends, mm -hmm. when I say old, mm -hmm. Yes. That is an inspiration by itself. Yes, 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 yes. Your friends alone can tell <laughs> what you become. Yes. And they're the mold for you. This is our baby. Oh. baby. You know, when you have a baby, you have a lot of milk. <laughs> so, by the way, thank all of you for being here to support our dear sister, dear daughter, dear friend. And we're looking forward to continue this journey to plan this team together that we'll pray together and stay together. Har Har Mahadev. 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 Har the divine relationship. God, bring the flag for you. Yes, so once again, thank all of you. Looking forward to see you when you have the time. Come and spend it here with us. Stories evening with Visayi Satsang. Every Monday, Mahadev Abhishekam, the same way. And every Sunday, Durga Abhishekam, then again. Do support, give your love, and give your compassion. Har Har Mahadev. Har Har Mahadev. And Dalaji have prepared bhojan for all of you. We'll go down to the basement. You will enjoy. If you want coffee, you want bread, you want whatever you want to eat is there for you. Beautiful, um, some Chinese version. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>